Hello everybody, it's me, Fire Range Dog. Now why am I on Skyline Spurs Adventure, you ask? Well, let me explain first. That might be helpful. So, recently I've got my Fire Skylander, my last Skylander. So, I want to show you my complete Skylander's collection. Right. When I say that, uh, you might be wondering, have I got all 32 Skylanders plus all of the legendary Skylanders? No, no I haven't. When I say my complete Skylanders collection, I mean all of the Skylanders I've been looking for, all of the Skylanders that i wanted. Now in many of my episodes uh, of the Skylanders walkthrough, I've said that I don't want to get every single Skylander. I only want to get uh, one from each element, and that's what I've done. And I'm going to show you all nine of them off to you. Now when I say nine, you might be wondering because there's only eight elements. I have two magic Skylanders, as you might know, because I wanted a different one, but Sparrow came with the starter pack. So I've got nine Skylanders. So I'm going to show off my complete Skylanders collection. So first of all, we're going to start off with this little Gremlin. He's probably my favourite Skylander. It's the one and only Trigger Happy, nicknamed Trigster. The tech element, level 10, and fully upgraded. And also wearing the cowboy hat. Now, when I first uh, did the, um, go away, shoot. When I first did um, a video showing off my Skylanders, I only had about six of them. Now I've got nine, I'm going to show you off to them all uh, at once, or all in one video. Keep away from the apple. And starting off with Trigger Happy, as you saw, that was his uh, first, that's his first attack. Uh, his primary attack where you just shoot golden coins or not at everything. Did I just push that sheep off the edge? I saw I did once, now it's got glitched in the bush. Glitched sheep. Right, so his primary attack is golden coins. His secondary attack is a pot of gold. And his third attack is a machine gun. Now Trigger Happy has gone through the path of his uh, guns, which means that his guns can deflect off of objects and bounce and hit other enemies. So say like I'm being chased by enemies here, I run to a wall, start shooting at it and it will reflect back at them. Also, machine gun, with the soul gem you get a machine gun. Well, you get the machine gun before you choose his path. But once you, uh, once you get his soul gem, this machine gun gets infinite ammo, which is uh, makes him quite invincible. Well, not exactly invincible. Very powerful. I'm going to uh, show off these guys' abilities in action. So I'm going to go to the Levithian Lagoon, a nice bright place. It's the place where you got the um, eternal water source. I'm just going to show you my Skylander battling about against all the enemies here. So say like with this massive squid thing, I'll be able to use the machine gun and he dies quite quickly. Also. <clears throat> my uh, trigger happy here has its own charge attack known as the golden Yamato blast I'm going to show you that in a minute if you hold in your uh, the A button then release it you make a bigger coin which bounces off as you saw it just took out that evil enemy now what I can do is if I charge up uh, the guns even more, I can do an even more powerful attack. When it starts glowing white like this, I can release 
and cast a golden Yamato blast. And you saw it just push me really far. I'm not sure if I can make it across this water. No. But anyway. Uh, my pot of gold is used to uh, attack enemies quite high up, so I might be able to attack these guys here. No, I can't. Anyway. I'm just going to try something with my golden Yamato Blast. There are some enemies here. I wanna, I'm not going to attack them with the golden Yamato Blast, but once I release, I want to try and... Oh. Is there the thing he shot out with attacked him? What I want to do is I want to release the golden Yamato Blast. And then, because it pushes me, I want to try and attack that squid. No. I just move out of the way of it. So as you saw, uh, the Golden Yanto Blast pushes uh, Trigger Happy quite far. So I think that's everything for uh, Trigger Happy. Oh yeah. His nickname, Trigster, I kind of uh, got it from this YouTuber. And also the uh, Cowboy Hats many people like it on him, so I've gone with the flow. Next we have the Blur Gilgrunt, the Water Skylander. Did I mention that Trigger Happy was tech? If no, then no, I just did. So, Gilgrunt is a Water Skylander, level 10, fully upgraded, renamed to the Holy Mackerel, wearing the Napoleon hat. Yes, many people find that the Napoleon hat suits him, which is why I got it on as well. You know, it's Captain Gilman. I think he's the same species as Gurgle then. Anyway. So, his name, the Holy Mackerel, I kind of got it. Um, I made it up myself. Based on, like, something else. But I didn't copy it from any other uh, any YouTuber. Anyway, so his first attack is releasing a harpoon. But, Gilgrim's has gone through the path of his water, so he got his water supply infinite. If you press hold Z, you can use his jetpack. If you hold B, you can use his uh, water gun kind of thing. And if you press B and Z or hold them, you can do them both at the same time. Also, if you uh, hold B, and uh, start pressing A, you can release loads of fish which kind of start exploding. Oh good. Now, I can use uh, the water gun to attack enemies who are quite high up. But if I can't reach them, then I'll just use the, um, the jetpack to try and get higher. Then I'll be able to attack them. Oh, well, I'll go get the Chinese to push the turtle. Wait, no, I don't need it. I never need that. Anyway, so as a water Skylander, Gilgrim has the ability to get across water. Like so. Also, we're going to, uh, he has quite a powerful attack. If you hold A, you can do this um, anchor cannon. Then release, it kind of pushes him away a bit. A bit like Chick Happy, but not as so much. Um, but it's still quite powerful. Um, is that everything? Yeah, I think that's everything for Gilgrunt. Um, now we have... Uh, I'm not sure if he's the actual main character, but he... Uh, this adventure is mainly about him, but it's the one and only Spyro. And this is called Skylander Spyro's Adventure. So, yeah. Now there's been a couple of debates about Spyro, actually. Many people say that he does not look like he's like he should do. Uh, I'm I wasn't a big fan of Spyro, like uh, the games, but I guess I've uh, liked him slightly more now that uh, because of this game, Skyland Spyro's Adventure. Uh, there is also a debate, well, or, or discussion, saying that Spyro. Although Spyro is a magic Skylander, he should be a fire Skylander because he brings out fireballs. 
I think it would be quite helpful if he was a fire Skylander. Because uh, oh, I was going to get my another magic Skylander anyway. But I will. So, his primary attack is shooting a fireball. Um, then, uh, with his... So, normally it was just a single fireball, but I've gone through the path of his fireballs. So, basically, whenever I press the A button, uh, one, two, three things will happen. One, the fireballs will split into three. So I'll be able to shoot out three fireballs at once. So I'm just trying to attack that guy. It's kind of annoying. Three things will happen. One, I can shoot three fireballs at the same time. Two, the fireball in the center explodes. And three, I get a fire shield, this fire that swirls around me. That's the fire shield. Now, if I press B, I'll be able to use his secondary attack, his dash, which is used to run straight through enemies. And then if you press Z, you can fly. Spyro is one of the flying creatures that can actually get across water. Oh no, we got eaten by fish. I'll give you a demonstration of his uh, other attack now whilst we're in here. If you hold A, you charge up this massive fireball and then you release it. That is the debris of flame. Very powerful. Right, in order to carry on with the uh, game uh, or battle Skylanders, I'm going to have to uh, do this level with the um, cannon. Should have chosen one without a cannon. Um, oh yeah, Spyro haven't changed his name. Right, next I think let's use Prison Break, my Earth Skylander in the cannon. He's an Earth Skylander. I'll be able to explain more whilst he's in the cannon. Ah, that got glitched a bit. He's level 10, he's fully upgraded, he's wearing the Devil Cap, and uh, he's nicknamed the Crown Jewels. I'll show you a bit more when we actually get out of here. As you can see, we haven't got much of the level left. So once I uh, do this, then uh, I better go fast. <laughs> Come on, shoot the bow. That's dodgy driving. Come on. Do I really have to change Skylanders because this guy isn't really good? No offense. You just aren't very good. I'm changing back to Trick Happy. Oh, God. That was bad. I only had a few more shots left. Oh, dear. Sorry. Right. Yeah, yeah, true. Right, prison break. Here we are. Crown Jewels, level 10, fully upgraded, wearing the Devil Cup. Right, I nicknamed him Crown Jewels because he's, like, slightly made out of rocks and crystals. His first attack is this Emerald Beam. His second attack is releasing one crystal, but I went through the path of his crystals, so his crystals are much more powerful, and, uh... There, I can cast three of them at the same time. Also, if I want to uh, maximise the uh, damage, then I can cast three crystals, then move forward and ca cast another three. Then use the Emerald Beam to reflect it off into more directions, because his primary and secondary attack work together here. So you can uh, you can uh, reflect the Emerald Beam onto uh, through the crystals onto other enemies. Although the crystals and the Emerald, Emerald Beam, sorry, do actually work separately as well. So you can choose whether they work together or not. So you can just attack enemies with the Emerald Beam, or you can just drop a load of crystals on them. His third attack 
It's kind of like a ground pound. Oh no, I'm sorry, I forgot to. Sh I didn't show much detail about um, Spyro's Soul Gem Attack. Spyro's Soul Gem Attack, you fly, press B to do it like a ground pound kind of thing with his head. Yeah, it's not that good, I don't think. Uh, Prison Break, uh, Crown Jewel's uh, Soul Gem Attack. Use the Emerald Beam to attack enemies, and once they're weak enough to die, they'll turn into crystals, like you might have seen. So, once I turn this guy into crystals, I can reflect the Emerald Beam onto other enemies, and then they'll turn into crystals, and then I can reflect it on others. So, if there are like a lot of uh, enemies, I can shoot them with the Emerald Beam, that will reflect onto other ones, that will reflect onto other ones, and so forth, so on and so forth. So this is almost the end of the level, this is the boss part, where we're about to get the Eternal Ward Source. I've already done it. Uh, any more with Prison Break? Well, he's gone through the, uh, his crystals path. So basically, like I said, I can get three crystals at once. And I also his back is crystallised, giving him more defence. Has he got any more? Um, no, that's all of his attacks. I'm not sure if he's got a charge attack if you go through the path with Emerald Beam. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to go on to Prison... Oh! Um, before I go into Prison Break My Life Skylander, I'm just going to tell you. Um, I nicknamed... Uh, Prison Break the Crown Jewels because uh, of his crystals and uh, they might be very expensive. I'm just going to quit this level and do another chapter for like another kind of battle. Crystal Eye Castle. So, Stump Smash, also known as the Tree of Life, also wearing a Devil Cap for speed. He is level 10 and he is fully upgraded. His first attack, you can, uh, he hits things, uh, then I upgraded them, so he's got these weird spiky bits at the end, which gives him some more attack. Second attack, spitting out an acorn, but I managed to upgrade it so I can spit out two acorns at once, and also I can uh, spit out loads and loads of acorns, not all at the same time though. Also, if you press Z, you spit out the Mega Acorn. It's a massive acorn which can be used, uh, it's a bit like the Mega Bomb really. You can roll it down hills to attack enemies. Then, because I've gone through the path of his acorns, uh, I can smash the Mega Acorn into loads of little acorns, which is like the ones from his secondary attack. Right. Also with, uh, oh this isn't a very good level, uh, for Prison Breaks, no, Stump Smash's demonstration, sorry. As you can see, Stump Smash has got spikes on him. If he gets attacked, those spikes will shoot out at, um, other enemies. See? It is like a defensive, um, kind of upgrade, but can also be used to attack other enemies. Then, with his Soul Gem, Stump Smash can swim about in water, or basically float, and he heals himself. So, like, near the beginning of the game there's lots of water, that's good, because uh, you, Stump Smash will be able to heal himself quite a lot. Any more? Um, I think that's it. Also, uh, Stump Smash can do a combo. You might get more combos if you go through the path of his uh, hammers, or his hands. But for now, if you press A three times, once, twice, then hold it, you do that combo there. Next we have Sonic Boo, also known as Raven, but then I renamed him to, or her, to Griffin. She is an Air Skylander, wearing a fancy hat, she's level 10 and she's fully upgraded. So her first attack is... Her name says it all. She screams. 
Exactly. He screams and screams and screams. Oh, I got. Second attack. Well, she kind of releases her eggs. They turn into babies, and the babies attack other enemies. Uh, but when there's no enemies about, they uh, they just follow you. Uh, and the babies kind of grow slow and steady. Um, so I'll just switch to Hex, so I can open this gate, because there are enemies. Yes, we get the idea, Hex. Can you just open the gate, please? Right, so when uh, Sonic Boom uh, is around enemies, uh, she can use her babies to attack. But the babies used to start off like crawling. But now I've upgraded them so I can have four at the same time. And they're all fully grown up. So they can fly about so much faster. Also, if you press Z, Sonic Boom can fly. That wasn't very good flying skills. Ooh, fly. This is good because she can fly across water as well as uh, some of the other Skylanders. So let's get uh, my babies to defend me. With her soul gem, Sonic Boom can scream at her babies and they'll start screaming. See if they've got uh, those uh, weird white balls around them. That means that they're screaming, which gives them more. Uh, which makes them stronger, basically. So, she's gone through the path of her babies. Her babies are very talented now. Next, we're going to swap to Hex. My undead Skylander wearing a Devil Cup, who is also fully upgraded, fully leveled up. So, her primary attack is releasing these phantom orbs. At first you can only shoot out one, but now I can shoot out two. Later on she can shoot out two, like that. Yep, she's gone through the path of her uh, rain skulls and her bone shield. So basically, instead of releasing two bones, I can release four, and they're quite quickly. The bone shield goes up quite quickly, and it's got spikes, which uh, attacks the enemies. Uh, so if I go in here, I'll show you. Basically, the enemies will try and come up to me like these crunchers. But, if I move back here, then they'll get hit by spikes, so they won't be able to get through. And, uh, the spikes are quite helpful for me, unless a very powerful enemy attacks them. Uh, they can be uh, attacked. Also, I can actually walk through my bones, but other Skylanders can't, so it kind of blocks them in their path. So everything for Hex. Um, Phantom Orb, Rain of Skulls, Bone Shield. I think that's a good thing. Undead Skylander. Now, before that goes, I'm going to change to my other magic Skylander. Yeah, we get it. This is Wrecking Ball. I know he's not going to die. Don't worry. So, Wrecking Ball, the magic Skylander who's level 10 and wearing a halo. Very uh, religious or holy. His primary attack is he spits out his tongue to eat enemies. Well, at first it doesn't eat enemies, it just attacks them. With a soul gem you can eat most of the enemies. But they have to be quite weak, like, you have to take out quite a lot of their health. So say like, there's these guys there, I'll just eat these Cyclopses. Now, Wrecking Ball has gone through the path of his Force Field, which is his secondary attack. I can control his Force Field. And also, I can stop it, basically, whenever I like now. So, if I'm rolling, it bangs into enemies, a bit like Spyro's Dash Attack. If I'm rolling, I can press B to automatically stop. 
Also, for an e for even more damage, I can uh, go in the ball and press dead to burp, create that massive uh, black cloud thing. Um, yeah, this one. It's a very powerful burp attack. Uh, if you press Z, you can burp at enemies. If you hold Z, though, you can burp enemies even more. Like, your burp is more powerful. <laughs> he's quite cute when he's holding in his breath. Anyway. So, as I said, level 10. Um. Oh, yeah, how do I nickname the others? I'm very sorry, I haven't gone through how I nickname the others. Very bad. Um. Tricks to spawn. Basically, um. Stump Smash, I nicknamed him the Tree of Life because he's a tree, and he's walking about, he's alive. Someone, uh, need, written, someone named him this on YouTube, and I thought it's a good nickname, so I carried it on. Um, Sonic Boom was called Raven, but now I've called her Griffin. Um, just because, uh, apparently, I think there's an upgrade that said that her babies were Griffins, so that means that she's got to be a Griffin. Hex was nicknamed Jinx uh, after the Teen Titans, uh, one of their enemies. She's like evil and she does magic, which is why I did that. Come on, eat the Cyclops. Eat the evil Cyclops. Oh, I can't eat that kind of Cyclops. So, uh, Wrecking Ball, I've nicknamed him Yoshi Jr. Anyone want to know why? Well, basically, uh, Yoshi from Super Mario is very talented in eating enemies, turning them into eggs. Now, Wrecking Ball can't turn them into eggs, but he can still eat enemies, which is why uh, he kind of reminds me of Yoshi. So, he's Yoshi Jr. And now, time for my last Skylander, my fire Skylander. Eruptor, also known as Igniter. A uh, level 9 Fire Skylander. Haven't fully leveled him up yet. He's the only one. Right. What can Eruptor do then? His first attack is throwing fireballs. There's an upgrade that allows them to kind of like explode though. Like that. Uh, his second attack is an eruption. I've managed to. I've gone through the path of his eruption, so he releases those volcanoes, those fireballs, and it goes quite a fair uh, big distance. Also, he can spit out these fireballs with Z. But uh, with his um, soul gem, he can spit out three like that. I don't think that's a very good soul gem ability. I don't think fireballs is very good either. Inferno or Eruptor is also wearing the Devil Cup because he's quite slow. Um, I nicknamed him Inferno because that's also another kind of thing related to fire. Anyway, that is all of my Skylanders then. Well, that's my nine Skylanders. Um, talk to you about all nine of them. So that's everyone, which means that's everything that um, I need to tell you or talk to you about. So I'm just going to attack these guys here using Trick Happens Machine Gun whilst I do my outro. Thank you for watching this very, 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 very long episode of Skyland Spurs Adventure. Uh, please subscribe and tell me in the comments below uh, what Skylanders you have, what you've nicknamed them, what you've uh, what hats you've given them, um, and stuff like that. I know, Trigger Happy's dead. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Please save me, Hex slash Jinx. Um, goodbye.